Welcome back, everyone. So a few minutes ago, we did say that today is not going to be as hot as yesterday. And here are the few the feel like temperatures to prove it across the Rio Grande Valley. So getting a closer look in Brownsville later on this afternoon, it's going to feel like 107. Wessico 109, McAllen 115, and Roma 108 under partly cloudy skies. And what's also a little bit different today as opposed to yesterday is our winds. Now, our winds are still coming in from the south southeast. That's not really going to change, but our winds are going to be a little bit more calmer today. Our wind gusts could only reach up to 30 miles per hour and we're not expecting anything stronger than that. And as we head toward tonight and into the overnight hours, much calmer winds are expected and these next couple days we're not really expecting breezy conditions. However, tonight we are expecting a few showers, maybe a storm or two, but like I said, most of the rain chances are going to stay further north and west of the Rio Grande Valley. Now a few showers will be entering within Star County and maybe a few chippy chippies here and there within Hidalgo County, but most of us across the Rio Grande Valley are going to remain dry and coverage is going to be at a 10%, maybe 15 at that, but it's not really going to be enough to help us out within our drought conditions. And remember, we are going to have a new one released tomorrow morning. But like I said, just dry conditions across the Rio Grande Valley for the overnight hours and these next couple of days, we definitely need more rain to make an impact of our drought conditions because this is what we currently have anywhere from dry to moderate drought conditions across the Rio Grande Valley. So again, we do get a new drought monitor tomorrow morning. So that's when we'll really know how conditions are going to be like, but we could potentially just stay the same or worsen just a little bit. But of course, we'll let you know what the latest here on CBS 4. We're getting a closer look at those temperatures for these next couple of days. Now we're still going to be in the triple digits, but if you get a closer look toward the end of the weekend and going into this upcoming work week, we are going to have a weak cold front enter Monday going into Tuesday, and that weak cold front could actually cool us down by a degree or two, and it'll continue to stall out within the Rio Grande Valley, so it could potentially cause us to be slightly, slightly, <laughs> slightly cooler. 